We go to proof, honey comb was set up. Oh hell no, nah. proof. Nigga kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his life. See, I was thirsty, so I got me some water. That's what you do when you thirsty. You see what I'm saying? So I know what thirsty is. Man, they was thirsty as hell for honeycomb. You hear me? They was thirsty. Thir Man, they was thirsty, like, foaming at the mouth. And I finna prove it. Let's get into it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, okay, okay. Appreciate you. I'm just trying to beat the eyes and you can help me. That water good. Then I'm on. I ain't gonna lie. A little water good. Cold. So listen. Yeah. So. Special Agent Evan Fisher testified at a federal preliminary hearing that he was with Mobile County Sheriff deputies when they spotted a Cadillac Escalade on the W.K. Wilson Bridge on Interstate 65 on December 18th. He testified that the sports utility vehicle was following another vehicle too closely, remained too long in the pass line, and had tinted windows. All three were traffic violations that gave the call to pull the Cadillac over in Criola. Fisher testified, and because it was fully armored and the driver was wearing a bulletproof vest, he testified, law enforcement officers conducted the stop at gunpoint and found two guns inside. Defense attorney Josh Brisman pressed Fisher on cross-examination where the law enforcement officers were targeting the defendant that day. We knew he was out and about, the agent said. Brisman pressed further, were you waiting on him? Answer Fisher, not necessarily, but we saw a violation, so we made the stop. Fisher later acknowledged that investigators were monitoring social media posts and knew that Brazy, whose real name is Nashawn Jones, was headed towards Mobile from Montgomery, but the agent did not elaborate on why Jones, 28, was on their radar. Okay, y'all remember hearing that Finesse two times made a complaint. Wrote like a statement or something like that against Honeycomb Brady. He came out and said it. That Finesse wrote a complaint. He ain't gangster. That'll lead to the police, the feds following you. Special agents. Now they in the car with the police. They in the car with Alabama PD. They following you. They 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 stalking your Instagram and, and your social media. And they just so happen to come across you like, yeah, we knew he was out that day. So what are you saying? What you saying? He was set up, bro. Like, it wasn't a regular traffic stop. They just was waiting on a reason. And who put him on him? Finesse did. F Finesse put, man, Finesse put that boy... Finesse. Finesse did that. That's what a complaint do. What the complaint say? I'm pretty sure it has something to do with them. And somebody gonna try to come see me. And if somebody got a problem with me, we rap stars. They, oh, okay. We know who, oh, yeah. So, think about that. What did the complaint say? The most? Did it make somebody... Oh, man. You got to be in the streets to understand this. This ain't it, man. Honeycomb was set up. As I read, you know, it was guns in the car. He had on a bulletproof vest. They drew down on him. They, uh, don't move, don't move. You know how they be. You know how they be. They thirsty for that boy. They trying to lock him back up, though. But I wonder what Finesse said. And not only that, the law trap you. He can't leave Alabama. So you trap where you at. You got problems in your city. You got problems around your way. And you can't leave. 
That's how you stay out of problems and, and, and grow. You got to leave. And they want you where you at. So you either die or go to jail. Two ways. Die, go to jail. Well, let's get back into it. Utility vehicle had tinted windows and pulled it over at exit 22 on I-65 in Crayola. Court records filed last week indicate that law enforcement officers found guns and drugs. An affidavit filed by an FBI task force officer says a sheriff's deputy noticed a 2022 Cadillac Escalade was in the passing lane for too long on Interstate 65 and had tinted windows. Newborn rapper Honeycomb Brazy has a parole revocation hearing in front I'm a parole board hearing officer. It's based on his arrest in Mobile County last month on gun charges. The hearing officer didn't make an immediate decision today on whether he should be sent back to prison on that previous state conviction. conviction. But Brazy, whose real name is Deshaun Jones, faces a preliminary hearing next week in federal court where he's been charged with being a felon in possession of a gun. Authorities say he was the passenger in a vehicle pulled over on I-65 December 18th and that there were two guns in the vehicle. Jones, the driver, and another passenger were all barred from having firearms. Jones' lawyer telling Fox to News the other two men were providing security for his client, who has been the subject of death threats, and whose grandparents died in a drive-by shooting and fire in 2021. The attorney says the guns in the vehicle did not belong to Jones. Well, at that hearing on Tuesday, prosecutors will be seeking a court order detaining Jones until trial. Judge determining prosecutors have enough evidence for a grand jury to a gun charge against Mobile-born rapper Honeycomb Brazy. These are charges that come from a traffic stop on I-65 in Criola last month. Brazy, whose real name is Nishan Jones, was a passenger in a Cadillac Escalade with two people he hired to provide security. Prosecutors say the three men in the car, though, were not legally allowed to have firearms. FBI agent testifying Jones was in the middle seat in arm's reach of a pistol on the floor. The agent testifying law enforcement pulled over that vehicle for a traffic violation, but they'd been expecting Jones based on social media posts. They say Jones was a venturist because he was a subject of a number of investigations. The defense attorney, Josh Briskman, saying his client was the victim of a shooting a few years ago and for good reason wanted protection. He says he's curious the FBI is participating in a traffic enforcement. I think they're ganging up on him. I really do. I think this is a guy that tried to do everything the right way. His management team hired the security detail. Mr. Jones's safety was at everybody's forefront concern, and uh, they tried to do this in a way where this would be uh, outside the bounds of anything questionable, and it hasn't worked out that way. The judge noting there's a parole hold on Jones based on a state court conviction ordering him to be detained in that federal case. He said Jones can revisit that should he win his parole case.